One of the reasons I chose this set was because being a Marconi set, reputable manufacturer, we know it will have worked well when it was new, and if we can put it in order, it should work very well again. It also means that there's a wealth of information about the particular set, uh, and if you poke around on the internet, you can often download the service data free of charge, which is what I've done here. Uh, this is a trader sheet, and trader sheets were issued to, uh, to the service trade, wireless service trade, um, as part of, uh, as, 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 as supplements to this publication, the, the wireless and electrical trader. And they were all in a standard format. This is the 938th sheet in the series issued. Uh, and they're like the Haynes Manual of the radio trade, uh, the, the equivalent of the Haynes Manual's car maintenance. Standard format, always include a circuit diagram, uh, and basic information about the set, like, let's just get this in focus, that's better. We've got the release date of the set here, which was July 1949. It cost when new £17.19 and £6, plus purchase tax. Purchase tax, of course, the equivalent of VAT in those days, but set at different levels according to the status of the goods involved. Radios being luxury items uh, attracted a high, a high, um, a high rate of purchase tax. There's always a circuit description describing the electrical characteristics of the set, and that then moves on to information about the components, their values, and what their functions are. Uh, it runs down to. Um, an analysis of the valves and their performance in the set. That includes well, this is information about the switching and all the contacts to the various rotary switches in the set. This is the table of valve voltages to be found. Um, instructions on dismantling the set. Uh, there are, there's also technical information about any divergences that occurred during the manufacturing run. There is a layout photograph of the chassis top with all the components uh, uh, referenced to the two numbers on the circuit diagram and a similar illustration showing the chassis underside and the location of the various components. Um, there's details about circuit alignment, a process that needs to be done if certain key settings in the set have been changed or certain key components have been changed that affects the way the set performs and details about the setting the presets uh, that I mentioned earlier you don't get those on every set and actually a whole, a whole uh, column here about replacing the drive cord which is the, um, the cord that operates from the tuning knob on the front of the set the rotation of the of the GAN condenser and the movement of the pointer on the scale. Uh, all good stuff. So, armed with this information, we should be able to have a good attempt at getting this 1949 set running. It is the Mar Marconi phone T21A, a three-band AC superhet with preset stations. The meaning of those words, if you're not familiar with them, will become apparent as we talk more about the set. Uh, manufactured in 1949.